like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 35 has an equation. It's an exponential equation that we're trying to solve for x. So we're going to use something called the one-to-one -one property to solve this. Uh, but when you have two equal powers like this, your first instinct should be to try to rewrite them both with the same base, okay? Now, to be able to answer this, you really have to be good with your exponent rules. And as they come up, I'll, I'll make sure to uh, make a note of them. But let me just start by just retyping this equation out. We've got 3 to the power of x plus 1 equals 9 to the power of 2x minus 1. Now, what I really want to do is use something called the one-to-one -one property, which is not something you, you, know, you need to know by name necessarily. Um, uh, but if you want to see more examples of this online, this is going to be the property you want to be searching for. So the one-to-one -one property. Okay, there's a, there's a few number one-to-one -one properties, but this one has to do with exponents. And so basically what it says is if you've got, um, so if you have, uh, we'll say x to the a, or we'll say a to the x equals a to the y. So in other words, if you have two equal powers, uh, yeah, there you go. If you have two equal powers and the bases are the same, if that's true, then you can say that the exponents are equal to each other. So if a to the x equals a to the y, again, if the bases are the same, then the two exponents are going to equal each other. So we're going to take advantage of this property here. We can't write away because 9 and 3 are not the same number. So we can't just drop the bases and set the exponents equal to each other. Um, what we have to do is rewrite 9 as a power of 3. Now, if you cannot do that, if like this was a 5 or something like that, then you would have to use logarithms to solve this, which would, is going to be a whole other method that I'm sure we'll get to in another problem. Um, but if you can write this as a, as a power of the other one, then that's the way you want to go. Okay. So 9 is a power of 3. Um, specifically, it's 3 squared. So I'm going to write this as 3 squared. Uh, oh, is it not going to let me... Um, here, here's what we'll do. 3 squared, there we go. Uh, to the power of 2x minus 1. Okay, now we've got another property we're going to use, which is an exponent property. And what this particular exponent property that I'm going to use, it's called the... Uh, I might not have the name exactly right here, but I think it's called the power of a power property. Okay, so again, that's something that you can look up if you want to see more examples of how that works. Uh, but this, the, the idea behind it is that when you raise a power to a power, you can simplify that expression by multiplying the powers. Okay, so I'm going to do that and multiply this 2 by 2x minus 1. And I'll have to use the distributive property to do that. So 2 times 2x would be 4x, and 2 times negative 1 would be negative 2. So now I don't need those parentheses anymore. All right, so now I've got the bases. Um, uh, uh, the bases are the same. So now I can use this 1 to 1 property here. Okay, so we use the power of a power property. Now we're going to use the 1 to 1 property. And we're going to drop these bases, okay? So we're going to set the exponents equal to each other. x plus 1 equals 4x minus 2. And now we can solve this just like a regular old linear equation. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. That's going to give me negative 3x plus 1 equals negative 2. Then I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. That's going to give me negative 3x equals negative 3. And finally, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3, which gives me x equals 1. And that's going to be my solution here. x is going to equal 1. So yeah, that's it uh, for number 35. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and you all have a great day.